folks Tony and Rich in the studio and we're looking at some shooting video we did today so I have this in Premiere Pro this is a little different than what how I normally do this sort of video but I wanted to show you how cool it is to be able to sit to kind of snap through a shooting video where there's some explosions one frame at a time so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna kind of zoom in here on this timeline I'm gonna click on the window here where we preview and uh, so Rich this was you shooting today pretty awesome he's fantastic so the, these are bottles that Rich was shooting with a what were you shoot a 223 some sort of super short 223 rifle and I'm gonna till, hit tilled here and that brings this open so that we can see it in a much larger way I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off screen so it gets a little bit bigger so you can see that a little better and even though I've pulled the bottom of the premier off the Snagit screen you can still see here and now I'm just gonna go through I'm um, hitting my right arrow on my keyboard to go through a bit at a time till you see this go so we're shooting at we were shooting at 120 frames per second 1080p so this stars and stripes color should go off here in a second where did we hit it rich right there oh there we go <laughs> it happened so fast to so check this out this is pretty cool so we're going to snake go through it one at a time this was 120 frames per second boom that's the first frame that showed the impact and it happened so fast that that particular gun rich was shooting shoots I think 4,000 feet per second, my brother Tim said, had a massive amount of, of uh, look at that, look at that right there, it's so awesome now, but that, that had a massive amount of powder behind that shell. Rich, what, okay, just shooting this, how did that look from 100 yards away? Big. It looked big, <laughs> it it, 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 even in the, uh, in the scope that Tim had, it looked big? Yeah, because you're quite close up to the, to the bottle, so when you're looking through the scope, you can almost see bottle almost if you use the zoom bit it almost filled the the sight well that is awesome it's awesome to catch that it's like it's, it's like photography in a way all they were shooting video if I played that piece of video for you it just happened so instantaneous if I hit play here it'll, it'll be gone in a second I think I didn't really see it because I had my eyes closed <laughs> yeah now, now I, I, and I'm hitting uh, I'm hitting the, the key and just holding down I'm hitting the left key and right key and you'll see right quick here, so you think, okay, Tony, wow, that was a good thing to have your uh, your, your screen on. You know, you know what? I had forgotten to put my, uh, this thing, the, the, the case. I forgot <laughs> to put the waterproof case. So that actually spur, spurted that Diet Pepsi or Diet Soda all over my camera. So that was horrible that it did that. But that was, uh, yeah, so I went and I, after this, I, I went forward uh, and I put the, the case on there. Or I think I might have just moved back. So I think it started fogging up inside the case. So we're going to go forward a little bit more. Let's see, let me tilt out of this for a second. So, folks, this is the second clip. I'm going to go into this. So you see what I'm doing here in my premiere? So, this was uh, still uh, 1080p, 120. I just backed up so we could see more of it. So I'm going to tilt into this one again, hitting the tilt key. That's the key above your tab. We're going to go one frame at a time. This is blown up a little bit so we can see it better. But watch this. I think he goes for the yellow one first. Rich shot all these. So again, pretty cool looking shot there. We'll go back. It's cool to watch it in reverse as well. So there we go, that was that one. And we got this other one here. Oh yeah. So we're backing up on this. And Rich, were we looking, could we see the uh, ground kick up behind these things? There was a place that seemed like we were seeing a ground kick up in the background. I think maybe with them zooming in, it might have just been off the it might be off left hand bit. side of the screen. Yeah, and watch this one too. Okay, wow. Mm. That one was more dramatic. It's like he hit it at the it's bottom. It's almost like it twists. If you play that first frame, yeah. it's, it's, it's like it twists. Like, yeah, it comes out the bottom. It flips, and then it, it flips, flips it the bottle. It, the power takes it out. It's just cool to see this and back back and forth with it with software. It's like the gas. So hopefully fires our, it off. That's incredible. Now Rich hit all these. I don't think he missed a single one. He did not miss. I don't. I don't think he missed. The only thing he missed was one shot at the baby powder. He shoots a thing of baby powder here. I don't know that we've even put it in there, but that was pretty cool right there. So let's go forward to this next one. I think this might have been my brother Tim shooting these. Okay, got this. Okay, now this was shot in a narrow field of view at 720p 240. So let's watch Tim as he hits this. That is crazy. So my brother Tim shot that one. So again, the, the bullet goes in, 
puts the hole out the back and then it's like the bottom of the, the back of the bottle explodes to make it shoot off forwards because that's towards yeah yeah yeah, yeah. In, in other words in other words they're shooting from the from the right side here so yeah it makes the bottle go forward what I think it happens is it puts a hole in the front of the bottle that's smaller than the hole in the back of the bottle as it comes out and then the the impact of the gas comes out the back you see there so the hole in the back is smaller than the hole in the front and so it's going to propel it forward now the pink one was not as impressive as the other because it, it wasn't carbonated it was actually just lemonade so we see that but still it's kind of cool yeah, to see it. that first frame yeah first frame where the bullets just coming just came through or coming through pretty awesome is what that is now we have some other video that's 4k that might not work so well with this of rich rich actually on his first shot we doubled the distance they have a a place 200 yards away where we put one of these soda bottles and Rich on his very first shot, I don't think anybody expected him to do it, Rich blasted that bottle from 200 yards away. So we're gonna put that later on his channel, probably a version of it on mine too, because I wanna have it on mine, it's just awesome. I mean, nobody, he just kind of freaked everybody <laughs> out that our jaws hit our chest, that he popped that thing at 200 yards away and it was epic, epic, great shot. So folks here, it's just a, Little demo of what you can do. I'm gonna tilt back out of this. I'm just gonna hit the tilt key. It's, it was in the middle of the save there. And here we are back in Premiere. I'll pull the whole, the whole of Premiere back up on the screen. Maybe let me do it. There you go. So that's how you do it. You can just cut your pieces, put them in here. Uh, here I'm just dragging left and right by grabbing the blue thing here. But then you can tilt in, you can go these things a, sec, a frame at a time. You can also from here do the same thing too. I'm um, just doing left and right here. But of course, you, what do you want? You wanna see it full size. But that is just very cool. Much fun you can have watching your videos. Uh, and we'll post this too to YouTube. But I thought it'd be fun for you just to see how you tilt around and review your videos even in Premiere Pro CC. Rich, awesome shooting. Thank Th you. Thanks for letting me witness that. <laughs> Peace to all who watch. Uh, we're all about shooting bottles, not people. So thanks. Subscribe if you like.